Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to uh, show you how to perform a uh, field strip and uh, cleaning on a Springfield XD40 subcompact. I picked this up uh, a couple months ago. Put about uh, close to a thousand rounds through it. It's a great gun. Never, never skips a beat. Uh, actually, today did uh, some handgun training, and we put uh, 250 rounds through it. Ran great, double taps, triple taps, just a solid piece of work. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, obviously clear everything. Take the magazine out. Gonna slide this back, push this up. Wanna lock it? So you have it like that. We're going to take it right here, flip this up. You're going to push this back down. The slide's going to come forward. Now, obviously, everything's been clear. We already showed that. We're going to go ahead and pull the trigger. And that pretty much releases it. You can pretty much uh, just turn it upside down if you like and just slide it right off. So you have your frame there and then. This little spring, you're just going to push it up a little bit. And uh, actually, move my hand so you guys see a little bit better. Push it up, pops right out, no problem at all. And then, uh, same thing with the barrel. Just going to slide it a little bit, comes right out, set it up here. And uh, that's pretty much the fill strip part of it. Very simple, no problem at all to do. Um, we'll start first with our barrel. We have uh, this Hops solvent number nine. Uh, that's what I use. You can use, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, but this works really good for me. So if it's not broke. Don't fix it, right? You know. Grab one of our uh, cleaning deals. Slide it through here. solve it. Try to get the excess off, you know, don't want to make too big of a mess. And first thing we want to do is start running through the barrel. A little bit like that. Just a little bit, you know, just in, uh, if there's anything stuck in there or whatever. Get the brush, run that through a couple times. You know, I hear some people say, you know, you should run it this way or you should run it that way. I really don't think it makes a difference. I mean, I could be wrong, and if I am, let me know. Uh, by the way, this is my first YouTube video on uh, this kind of stuff, so you guys take it easy on me. I know the YouTube crowd sometimes can get pretty rough, and uh, just like so. Like I said, this is... Uh, 250 rounds I went through this today. I went out with a buddy last night, went to the range, and I think we shot about 150 through that one. And I kind of just, you know, get it like this. Just get it all cleaned up, you know. And I'll set that to this next year right here for now. And I'll grab another one here corner through. And there you have it. Just gonna keep running this through. Just wanna keep running it through until it uh you know it gets all cleaned up. Um, one thing I did mean to do and I haven't got to it was uh, I know Pete from the Army channel recommended you know get some black electric tape running it all the way down here and down here just so you know it, it won't try to catch the barrel you know so just gonna keep on uh, brushing that through and I'll do the same thing here pull this off and once again I, uh, I don't mind getting my hands dirty so 
so. And wanna take another one and uh, keep doing the same thing. If uh, this is all very simple, I just actually got into handgun myself, and you know, I love the gun. I love going shooting. It's you know, it's a great time. And uh, met some good people. You know. It's always, always a good thing, you know. Same thing, just, uh, you know, get that barrel as clean as you can. I'm probably, uh, you know, like I said, a little nervous since this is my first YouTube video. So, I'm sure I'm missing something. Somebody will let me know about it. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Um, Grab this, and we're going to wipe it all down. There should be, you know, more than enough left over from when, when you did the barrel. So, I'm just going to continue to wipe this one. Got these, I don't know if you guys can see these XD mats. Here I got them, everything sitting on. Found them on eBay real cheap. I usually always just work off those mats, but, um, actually this is, this is the right one. Uh, it wouldn't really come out very good with the, the video going, you know, with the, <clears throat> the back background. So I got this this white stuff. Uh, you can get it any, anywhere, you know, Walmart, wherever. Just watch out for those zombies at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Always, you know, you also want to make sure that uh, you don't get the the fibers caught inside, you know, especially on the edge of the spring, it will catch it. And you know, I sit there picking it out. And so we have our slide. Um, it's pretty dirty. Like I said, I shot quite a bit out. So I'm gonna grab that solvent and I'm gonna pour a little I have a little container on this side, but I'm gonna pour just right on the, the bristles, you know, that way it Gets on there real good. Put this cap on. I know if I don't put it on, it's going to end up everywhere. And I uh, just want to go ahead and clean it. You know, just get in there, you know, use a nylon brush. Um, you want this to be plastic, something that, you know, if it does hit the end right here or something, it's not going to damage anything. I'm going to clean this real good. I'm sorry if I, I might not have this at the right angle. When I'm cleaning this, try to switch it up. I just want to get in there. That slide real good. And uh, it already looks much better. One of the uh, the cleaner ones that I have here. For a second, this out a little bit. Get it all. So this one's a cleaner one. These these others here are pretty much wasted. There's no reason to keep using that. I don't want to pick up contamination from one spot and put it in the other spot. You know. And uh, I'm gonna clean this up. Get the slides. So anyways, like I said earlier, I'll take this uh, basic handgun course. You know, it's, I mean, I've shot a lot, but I want to uh, I'll learn from the professionals. You know, you, if, if you're, uh, you say you know everything, you're stupid. <laughs> so it's always room to learn something. Actually, because uh, I could drop a little line, I took it a class from in Southern California, from Greg Block. Good guy, you know, show me a few things. I plan on taking the next class. And uh, so that was a free line drop there. He didn't ask me to, and he doesn't even know. But uh, definitely learn some stuff. <clears throat> so, sorry if I'm milking this, but I'll 
probably I'm kind of rushing through it. What I'll end up doing is uh, probably clean it later again, just because you know. So we're gonna uh, grab a Q-tip and dip that right into the solvent here. And same thing, get the excess off. Get all the areas that you can't get with the, you know, the toothbrush or the cloth fiber thing. You know, real good. You can see it's uh, it's already. I mean, it's pretty dirty in there. This gun is definitely not something I'm sitting in my closet or my safe or wherever. I'm gonna keep shooting this thing, you know. That's what his job is. Same thing on this side. Just uh, get that excess off. And one more time. Clean it all real good. Actually, uh, Kind of been going overboard shooting this gun, I think. My wife thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Relax, you know. Just, you know, new hobby. I enjoy it. And we'll set to this. Actually, this over here, sorry. Usually I have a little trash can, but whatever. So that's this side here. I'm actually letting these air dry for a little bit because uh, once they do dry, I'm going to wipe it off. I actually got this from uh, the Weiss Pantry. I think this is actually one of my kids' bibs or something. It's like a microfiber material. My kids don't use it anymore, so I'm not using <laughs> stealing their bibs that they need or something. So, yeah, where was I? So back to... Right here, we want to start cleaning the frame out. You can see it's pretty dirty. A lot of stuff going on in there. Same thing, I'm going to pour it on the bristles here. Just cap on. And you know what? I'm getting a little oil here. I always have a designated rag. Wipe my hands off. I don't want to get the frame all gooey. So, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I don't want to you know, get it caught up on anything. And I'll wipe that just like this. Careful, you know, don't grab everything here, don't break anything there, all the springs. Um, just get all the, the slide area. You can even get the magazine area if you'd like. You know, I was talking about how I am new to this, new work. One thing for all the, the new people out there search you know how to clean their Springfield XD40 subcompact this might pop up but if it does this is the magazine it's not the clip you call it a clip everybody's gonna be making fun of you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. guy in the class today called it a clip had a field day with that wasn't me <laughs> 